What's going on guys? Alex here at 14ADC and today, or tonight I should say, I'm going to do a quick little unboxing or unpackaging for you guys. Um, first thing you guys probably noticed, I am wearing glasses. I don't think I've worn glasses in any of my videos yet so far, so that's probably a um, different look for you guys. I am filming this. It is Sunday night at 10 o'clock. I got a shower and I already took out my contacts and everything like that, so um, rocking the glasses now. But like I said, it's Sunday night. This came in on Saturday uh, afternoon, but I took my, uh, or helped move my fiance back to school for her last semester of college. Um, stayed up there with her, and then I got back tonight, a couple hours ago. So before I go to bed, I wanted to unbox this because I wanted to check out the knives. Um, there's some pretty cool ones in here. There are two um, uh, traditional pocket knives exclusive jig tie penguins i believe it's the penguin plus and the mini penguin and then there is a quiet carry large iq i believe in here their newer model um and these are both or um these, all three of these are from uh kevin so they're a lefty pass around uh package and this is specifically coming in from naf sergeant um, so definitely go check out Naf's channel. I believe he's making content in it again. Um, I think for the most part, for the last month or couple months, he's been doing shorts. Uh, but I believe he is doing uh, reviews. So definitely go check out Naf's channel. But the unboxing knife today, which is what I carry today, is the Spyderco Sage 5 Lightweight, the Blade HQ exclusive in M4. Um, I realized I never did a proper review on this. I had some issues with it. Um, I still actually have a few things that are wrong with it. Um, so I stripped the screw over here. Actually, the, the knife functions fine. Um, you know, it's pretty dead centered. The action is okay. Um, you know, it's it can be good. It, it can be kind of slow sometimes, but I really like the knife. But one thing that I did wrong was I accidentally stripped the uh, one str screw over here and I just haven't taken it to, or haven't sent it to Spyderco to get it fixed yet. And another thing that bugged me before I finally realized what it was, uh, the backspacer here like rattled and sh like you could like hear it moving around when you shook it. Uh, so I just took that out. So it was more of a clean, um, you know, overall package, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But uh, the Sage 5 is great, you know, great in the hand. It's a lightweight, you know, very slicey. I love the, the leaf shaped blade. Um, I did get a little bit of rust on it, if you guys can see it. Um, might not be the best view, but I carried this to work a few times over the summer. Um, I didn't realize. I knew M4 would rust. <coughs> Excuse me, but I thought the um, the coating on here would help. But it's a thinner coating. Um, it's their, like, TICN coating that they do from Taichung. Or, uh, yeah, Taichung, Taiwan. Um, but, so there's a little bit of surface rust on here. But I really like the knife. Um, it's a great you know, usable, just kind of toss it in the pocket and forget it's theirs. It's kind of like a, a bug out to me, but I utilize it in more of a, um, you know, want to keep it a little bit nicer and don't beat it up as much as my bug out because this is off topic, guys. I apologize. Um, I should make a video about it sometime, but my bug out is, I mean, my lighting isn't the best in here. So hopefully you guys are able to see. Um, it's, it's worse in person, but I have absolutely used the shit out of my bug out. Um, you know, I've probably mentioned in a few videos before I roofed over the summer and I'm still am roofing while I'm looking for a, um, job dealing with what my degree is in. And I carried the bug out probably 90% of the time that I've been working. Uh, it's my main carry for work just because it's lightweight. It has a very usable blade shape. You guys know the bug out. Um, so I utilize this as what the bug out is, you know, two lightweight knives, great ergos, great, um, usable blade shapes. But I want to keep this one a little bit nicer just because um, I have the bug out for basically things that I want to, you know, abuse and carry and, and uh, beat up and stuff like that. But I'm going to quit rambling. We're going to tear into this package. You need to be careful because I don't want to cut into anything. All right. What do we have in here? Lots of swag. Lots and lots of swag. Uh, yeah, what's the hacky back there? All right, so we have the knife boxes, and then we have a ton of stuff from C. Risner Cutlery or traditional pocket knives. Um, we have the, um, the 
the list of, or the order of the passer on group. Put that there. Uh, we have a ton of uh, NAF Sergeant stickers in green. And pink. So that's really cool. I'll definitely have to steal a few of those for my collection. You got the typical, you know, lefty swag. Uh, these are actually Kevin's old logo. He hasn't, um, or he updated his new logo to get rid of the beer because he is no longer drinking beer. So that's awesome for Kev. Proud of you, buddy. Um, MBA, I don't know what this is. Detent Diva, Growler. So those are the stickers. And then from traditional pocket knives, we have a um, TPK proudly carrying uh, I just looked off the camera. Gradyson Cutlery, Finch, Jack Wolf, Tactile, Medford, Pena, QSP, We, Esnix, Line Steel, and more. Uh, it's veteran owned. I believe his name is Austin. I've talked to him, I think, once or twice on Instagram when I was reaching out to try the, um, the normal size penguin. The Ohio River Jack in Jigged Titanium is one of their um, exclusive designs. I've not handled one yet, but I would like to at some point. Um, the um, QSP exclusive for TPK, the Hedgehog in Jig Tie and M390. This is also one that I think is really, really cool. Uh, seems like a great value for the money. The Penguin Mini, which is one of the ones that I have. I don't know which, um, if it's a black or the satin. And then the Penguin Plus, which again, I don't know if it is the black or the satin. So um, yeah, we're gonna get all of this stuff moved out of the way. And we're going to check out the Penguin Mini first. So it is the Black Jig, Black Jig. So they're both the Black Jig tie, which I'm very familiar with considering I had the Black Jig tie, um, you know, normal size Penguin. Comes in this QSP box with traditional pocket knives um, logo on it. You pull it out, it comes with a sticker, little um, information card, and then have a knife day, a little Penguin, which is really cool comes in here and it is very small of course it is the mini very snappy little detent going on there and this is basically the same exact knife that i had just shrinking down or shrunken down um i liked the one that i had i just realized uh, i don't know like it was it was exciting for me for like the first couple weeks that i had it but then i never really carried it a ton um but the jig tie in the black is definitely the, the best um, penguin variant out there, I think. I think out of all the frag and the normal tie and the micara and, you know, moku tie and everything like that, these ones are the, the coolest and they feel the most premium. Um, they're thinner than other ones, at least other ones that I've handled. Um, they're just really good. And the jig tie is kind of an older, you know, traditional style of a pattern. And a lot of people you know don't utilize that so it's really cool to see austin kind of bring that back in with modern materials and a modern um, knife but this is really snappy has a nice little drop to it i could see this being a great fifth pocket carry very usable blade shape um, if you choke up here you could definitely get four fingers on here but yeah this is the penguin mini let me try to hurry up to get through the rest of these uh, the Penguin Plus. The Penguin Plus is actually one that I've wanted to check out for a while. Uh, not just the Jig Tie one, but uh, any of the Penguin Pluses. Same stickers and stuff. And again, same version. Just bigger. Uh, I believe this is a 3.25 inch blade. Uh, and then it comes with, uh, so a little bit different, the normal standard uh, Penguin Plus comes with a wire deep carry clip but this one has the milled titanium clips so that's really cool and this also has a flipper tab in uh implemented as well very snappy feels great right off the bat i can already tell you that i like the penguin plus more than oh, more than the standard size penguin just simply for the flipper tab uh, i like having that added you know bonus method of um, deployment thumb studs still work really well middle finger flicks pretty the detents nice and tight um very snappy but yeah i really like having that 
flipper tab. Just, you know, I love having more deployment methods. Um, very smooth. So I definitely, you know, I'm just saying this right now. I'm not going to run out to go buy one of these at the moment just because I have money tied up in some other stuff. But I could definitely see myself picking up, uh, you know, maybe this version of the Penguin Plus or a Penguin Plus if I can find one for a good deal. Um, just because I really do like this blade, uh, or this this blade shape and this package a little bit more in a bigger um, bigger blade, bigger handle is what, is what I'm trying to say, I guess. Um, so actually it's a 3.375 inch, so about 3.4 inches. Um, and that's about the biggest size of knife that I would like to carry. Uh, 3.5 is, you know, maybe what I would carry, but to me that's getting kind of big. Um, for this, it's very, very smooth. Feels great in the hand, and again, it's super duper thin. So, um, yeah, I can already tell you that the Penguin Plus is uh, out of the, the Penguin Mini, the normal size Penguin, and this one, probably my favorite just because I love getting a full size grip on it. You can choke up, um, and this jig tie feels great. So, uh, that is the Penguin Plus. And then, last but certain, certainly not least, is the Quiet Carry Large IQ. Um, so, they've had the normal IQ out for quite a while and then they finally came out with a bigger version and Kevin got this in and luckily very graciously tossed this into a group um, yeah I can tell you right away I love the milling on here so I've kind of had a thing for quiet carries recently uh, you guys if you saw my Christmas update video I got the blue g10 chase for my parents and then um, within the last week I traded my uh, Demco Titan or my uh, Demco 8020.5 in Titanium 3V for this waypoint, which I'm absolutely loving. Uh, I'm so glad to have one of these in the collection. Um, so I'm kind of on a little bit of a quiet carry kick. So when Kevin said he was going to be including this one in the um, package, I was really, really stoked just because this was one that I really um, was intrigued with. Ooh, that drop is very nice. Flipper tab works really well. It's a frame lock. Um, has a lock bar insert. I love the sheep's foot kind of stubby blade going on here. Um, I love the pocket clip. So you have a single screw in there to the hole. And it is kind of mounted from the almost the rear, um, which is really cool. It's very minimalistic, kind of like a pen clip, so that's really cool. Milling feels great. The quiet carry standard... Um, three holes or four holes on both sides fits in the hand awesomely uh, it's very thin m390 you guys can see that nice flat grind feels really good in the hand very smooth um, i don't know if kevin put skips in here i think he talked about it but i'm not totally sure uh, it is dead centered in quiet carry um, fashion it's very flat here you know the blade tucks into itself into the handle so it feels very good you can choke up here yeah i'm really liking this um in the back of my mind i was wanting to check this one out and then maybe think about picking one up if i liked it um not in the you know as of right now because like i said i have some other stuff um you know i've purchased a few knives recently so i don't have a whole lot of funds for one right now and i think these go for like 300 dollars, which is you know about what the um, the tide drifts and the tie waypoints go for. But yeah, this is really, really cool. I like it a lot, so. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm gonna wrap up this video. Be on the lookout for full reviews of both of the Penguins and the large um, waypoint. Huge shout out to Kevin for always providing cool packages like this for all of us to check out and review. Uh, it's always appreciated, Kevin. You are a fantastic human being and a great friend, um, so. But yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to wrap this one up and uh, head to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.